Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Zach, and thanks for tuning back into my channel. Today what I have for you guys is another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. So, you guys want to learn how to make money fast, easy, and quickly in Red Dead Redemption 2. And I gotta be honest, if you're not doing the right things, it's pretty hard, or at least it's pretty time consuming. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys a very, very easy method and an easy way to get $1,500 in Red Dead Redemption 2 super, super fast. So I'll basically be doing this step-by-step -step guide for you guys in live commentary form. So if you guys do go on to enjoy, definitely drop a like on this video. And if you guys are new, subscribe for the best Red Dead Redemption 2 videos on the internet. So if you're coming from Valentine where I am right here, you're just gonna follow this trail essentially all the way up to Window Rock right here. I have my waypoint marker set here. Once we get there, I'm gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do. All right, everybody, we have arrived at location number one here up by this waterfall and the train tracks bridge. As you can see, I'm all the way up here, but we wanna go right down to here in between the N and the D of window rock now I will let you guys know that this spot coming here isn't 100% necessary to get the money this isn't where the money is this is just what I think is a good place to come if you want to get a cool sketch for Arthur Morgan in his journal but nonetheless you want to come over here and what we're looking for on the wall are these basically these Indian rock carvings and these like little paintings and so you're gonna come here you're gonna feel your controller vibrate and you're gonna inspect the painting now this is what we're gonna be looking for after this sketch when Arthur Morgan draws this you guys are gonna see what I'm talking about kind of in a better form of what we're gonna be looking for next this is our next clue it's basically six statues with like this bird or eagle in the middle so that's pretty cool let's go to the actual location of these statues and let's go check out what is inside now where we want to head is over here where you can see it says Donner Falls and you're gonna want to find the cave right here so you're just gonna want to place your marker right along this road so that you can actually take it from where you're coming from right here as you can see the pathway all I have to say is if you're looking for the fastest way to get there I would just go down the cliff face here but I do have to warn you you need to be very very careful because there are a lot of steep rocks your horse will slip all over the place and of course it's recommended that you don't want to die before you actually get to find your treasure here when you keep going down the hill you will eventually meet up with the trail here and you're gonna to want to follow this path and eventually if you keep following it you'll meet the strange statue cave and you will be on your way alrighty boys we have arrived here now you're gonna look for a cave when you get here it's actually hidden up between these rocks essentially if you wanted to like I said you could head straight here you don't need to check out the uh, the painting on the rock carving back where we came from but it's just cool if you guys want to update your journal entry and of course you can update the journal entry here as well so you're gonna to want to follow these rocks I'll show you guys on the mini map once again you're gonna come up here you'll park your horse right on the road here to the left of this little trail and you're gonna head right up in between these two lines that's showing the inlet of the cave and you're just gonna to want to follow exactly where I go in this video so you're just gonna to want to come through here you're gonna to want to crouch and it's probably recommended if it's night out for you guys to pull out your lantern Right now, you don't necessarily need it, um, of course, because you're inside, but there is an opening to the cave over here. And this is what you're going to see. You guys are going to see all these strange statues here. Now, this is probably the coolest part. Now, for those of you guys who hate numbers and hate math and are bad at both, don't worry. That's why you have me here to solve this problem for you. So you're going to see all these statues, and you're going to be like, what am I going to do with this? Now, don't worry. Some number calculations are involved, but again, like I said, that's why you're watching this video. You see this statue, and you see the direction it's facing. Now, you're just going to want to look directly to the right, back towards this entrance or exit of the cave where I came from, and you're going to see the statue right here, and you're going to want to push the button. Once you do that, you're going to look to your right and you're going to see this statue. Now, you don't want to push this button. That is bad. You're going to want to go to this one. You're going to want to skip that first one and come to this one and now push this button right here. And then you're going to do the same thing. You don't want to push this button to the right. You want to skip it over again and you're going to want to push this one. And you're also going to want to push the one directly to the right in the sunlight right here. That one, okay, it finally pushed in. And then you're going to want to push this button right here. This is the last one you'll need to push. And if you guys follow that correctly, behind you, you're going to see that little tray open up. And would you look at that, there's gold bars. So these are the gold bars you guys want to take. 
you're going to get $500 for each gold bar, netting you $1,500 from doing this. Like I said, you can just come directly to this cave right here. You don't necessarily need to go to Window Rock to see the paintings. That's just if you guys want to get an extra sketch in your journal, if you guys are obsessed with those sketches. I like looking at the sketches in Arthur Morgan's journal as well. As you can see, I have a bunch of them kind of located around the map. But that's all you guys need to do. You just come to this location. You're going to want to push this statue's button first. Skip over that one. Come to this one. Skip over that one. Come to this one. And then also this one as well. One. So just let me go over it one more time. One, two, three, and four. And you're going to look behind and you're going to see the gold bars. Of course, you guys want to take these and you guys want to bring these to a fence to be able to sell them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys found this tip helpful. If you guys want to see more money-making guides and money-making methods, please let me know down in the comments section below. This was super fun to make. I hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed, found this video helpful, and also subscribe to the channel for more daily Red Dead Redemption 2 videos if you guys are new to the channel. Like I said, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys all have a fantastic day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, amigos.